Conrad Shada from Anamosa, Iowa. It's a 2020 389, but it's been rolled back to a 379. I know you said that you've spent a lot of time on it. Three and a half years, it's been quite a challenge, but it came out very, very well. It was ordered in as a glider, and we immediately, when we got it home, stripped everything back off, sandblasted the frame, painted it purple. It came with a uh, black frame. We took the cab sleeper off, and then we started to go to work. And we did, I don't know if I can remember all of the things that we did to make it back to a 379, but it is very era specific. What I wanted to do was take 379 ran from 87 to 2007 and I wanted to take those 20 years and take bits and pieces out of those years and make what I thought was the, uh, the Peterbilt of my dreams. The only thing that is still really truly 389 is the hood tops and the width of the top of the hood. Otherwise, it's got 379 fenders. We uh, manufactured hood sides for it, reskinned doors, changed the latches, put the old style brand new 87 dash in it. I rewired the whole truck. There isn't a nut and bolt that I haven't probably touched on this thing. It just got done Tuesday night. It's got 113 miles on it. Um, I've got, uh, I haul cattle for my father. My father has three cattle feed yards, so it's a family business. And uh, we'll keep our 2014 and kind of run it through the winter. And we'll use this a little bit very sparingly for the first couple years. Wow, so what are the big plans for this truck? Well, the biggest plan is, or the th th most thankful thing, it's finally done. Yes. <laughs> I don't know, there's rumor of some talk about maybe taking it to Rantoul in a couple weeks. If not, I'm getting some pretty good pressure to take it to, uh, yeah, take it to Louisville next year. It has been invited back to the Peterbilt Open House in Denton in October, so we're definitely gonna go there. But it, it's, a, it's been a labor of love, and I really need to credit my wife. My wife and my stepkids and my little boy have they haven't seen much of me in the last three and a half years, and I've got a lot of catching up to do. And she stood by me the whole way, and she's one hell of a woman. It's got a 1999 2WS 3406, bought from Custom Truck in Coos Bay, Oregon. They uh, put the Stage 3 Performance Package on it, and it's got 18 speed, 342 rear ends. I'm going to tuck this behind the door because it's so windy. Okay, <laughs> 342 rear ends. The 2200 torque because it's uh, it, it it needs it. It's it's got plenty of get up and go to it. A 280 inch wheelbase. It it drives very well. Uh, Nick Bettencourt and his crew at Custom Truck are some of the most genius people I've ever met in this business, and he was the one that really helped me out a lot. The 113 miles was that basically just to get it here? Um, yeah, I took it for a test drive uh, last week and crossed my fingers, <laughs> and then brought it down here. First, we went to uh, C and J Trucking in Grand Mount. Jay Hawthorne, one of the finest in the industry, stopped by and showed it to him, and then brought it on down from here. And thankfully, no oil leaks. And whoever thought they needed an engine painted white really needs to have a mental examination because it is going to be a challenge to keep it clean. Tadlock Brothers out of Iowa City, Iowa, uh, do all my polishing. Absolutely the best without a doubt in the world. They worked on this for me and I, I they're the best of the best. I, I owe a lot of people a lot of credit. John Snagowski at MHC Kenworth, Darren Siebels at Paul's Paint and Body. I know I'm missing people along the way. Carl Karstens at Rockwood Products. Wonderful man. Many a phone call trying to figure this out. Benton Courts at Custom Truck. Spencer Bertling painted, finished painting the truck for me. Amazing individual, hard worker. If it wasn't for him doing a marathon run of 38 hours over July, the 4th of July weekend, it wouldn't be here. So been very, very fortunate with some wonderful people. I did put the truck back together by myself with their help. A lot of late nights, early mornings, all nights, all that. I did all the fabrication on it, built my 
own in-frame toolbox that a very good friend of mine, Brian Kelchin in Dyersville, Iowa, was one of my mentors over the years, taught me a lot about fabrication. He had built me one for my other truck and I decided to tackle it myself this time and if it wasn't for his knowledge, I couldn't do it. Revamp the toolboxes to make them look like that 379 era with the graded step. The Luber Finer is now the windshield washer reservoir because I took the windshield washer reservoir off of the radiator and put the old style Nelson power steering reservoir up there. And there's just been so much rework to it. I'd, I'd really be, really be lost trying to tell everybody what I did because I don't even remember what I all so did. So say it all in this video and then you'll never have I, to say I, it. Then I can do it. And, and I guess I, I want to give some people credit, but probably the person that I really need to owe credit for for mechanical capability was a fellow by the name of Don Bechtold from uh, Massillon, Iowa. He helped me redo an 87 Peterbilt cab over that I still have and he was a, a born teacher and he was so kind and really gave me the knowledge to try and tackle this myself. And my mom and dad saw the earth. They never ever once questioned what I was doing. Very, very fortunate to be in a family business. You can say I'm one of the luckiest people in the world. So is it a multi-generation trucking family? No, my grandpa was in the sale barn business. If it wasn't for him, I would probably be sweeping the floors at, at Peterbilt in Denton, Texas, I suppose. He started the business, youngest of uh, eight from Kearney, Nebraska, came back to Eastern Iowa in the Depression, had nothing. He started our family business. My dad has carried on uh, the cattle feeding and cattle buying business as a true genius in the industry. I always got bit by the truck bug, so I thought I was going to haul for them and I was going to be their number one trucker. My trucking business consists of three trucks and one, one driver, and you're interviewing the driver. I've got a 87 362 Peterbilt cab over that came to Walcott 10 years ago and won some awards. Uh, 2014 389 that's kind of the daily driver, the one that kind of supports some of this. And then this truck and I'm just, I enjoy hauling cattle. I could never see myself doing anything else. Just had quite a storied life and very fortunate to be able to do some of the things I've been able to do.